Welcome to the computer-based training course on the diagnostic software Eccentry Diagnostics. In this program, you will learn the fundamentals and the functions of Eccentry, and in particular, of Eccentry Diagnostics. Eccentry brings together existing applications such as DAS, WIS ASRA Net, and EPC Net. Extended applications such as Eccentry Tips, new applications such as Eccentry Diagnostics, and processes such as Eccentry Flash into one single application. Bringing the programs together means that the user no longer has to log in several times and that vehicles only have to be identified once. Eccentry and Eccentry Diagnostics can be installed and used on the existing STAR diagnosis systems BASIC 2, COMPACT 3, COMPACT 3W and COMPACT 4. No new hardware is required for their operation. The older STAR diagnosis systems COMPACT 2 and BASIC however are excluded from this. From Model Series 204, Eccentry Diagnostics will be the new diagnostic software in addition to the familiar Diagnosis Assistance System, DAS. Eccentry Diagnostics will be used to perform diagnostics procedures on all future passenger car model series as well. DAS will remain available for passenger car model series up to the end of 2007. Eccentry can be installed and used on the existing STAR diagnosis systems BASIC 2, How do you actually start Eccentry? Click on the Workshop Colleagues Diagnostic System. Eccentry has its own icon on the desktop. The application is started by double-clicking on the icon. Try it out. Once started, the Eccentry Start screen will appear. This consists of several different areas. The main window lists the current vehicle brands that you can select. In this example, all the vehicle brands are shown. If you are going to be working on one particular vehicle brand for a while, you can pre-select the brand you want by changing the Eccentry system settings. When you open Eccentry, the start screen will then skip the brand selection procedure and switch directly to the appropriate product group. Now have a look at another area on the start screen, the main navigation bar. Here is where you find a number of buttons that you can use to open the various Eccentry functions and applications. When performing a diagnosis, it is usually helpful to work through the buttons from the top down in turn. You can get more information on the individual buttons by clicking on them. Here is where the vehicle identification procedure is carried out. A detailed description of this function can be found in the next section. This button starts the diagnosis, either Eccentry Diagnostics or DAS. Which system is started depends on which vehicle model series has been selected. This is where you start Eccentry Tips. To open this application, you need an online connection and a valid PAI user ID. When WIS ASRA Net is selected for Eccentry, either the offline or the online version is opened in a separate window. The offline version is installed locally on the STAR diagnosis system. The online version requires a connection to the server for EPC Net or WIS ASRA Net you will be required to log in with your username and password. The online version, unlike the offline version, also provides information from the vehicle data card.
If you wish to open EPCNet, you must have an online link to the EPCNet Wiz AzraNet server. EPCNet is only available as an online version on the Star Diagnosis systems. To log in, you usually need a username and password. EPCNet is always opened in a separate window. Here you can specify various system settings such as the language and the date and time format. Amongst other things, this button closes Eccentry. What you need to bear in mind when doing this will be explained in a separate section. By the way, it's possible that even more functions will appear in the main navigation bar as Eccentry undergoes further development. However, these functions are not yet described here. The appearance may change as well. More buttons can be found above the main window on the right-hand side. Specifically, these are the Eccentry print function and the integral help facility. Click on these to open the corresponding windows in which you can perform additional settings. These are self-explanatory and are therefore not described here. Now select the Mercedes-Benz vehicle brand. To do this, click on the corresponding logo in the main window. The vehicle identification screen now opens in the main window. Vehicle identification can be performed in various ways. If you know the vehicle identification number, you can enter this directly in the corresponding boxes. Your entry is then accepted by clicking on the Continue button. If you do not know the VIN, there is another way of identifying the vehicle. This is done via the Passenger Car tab. Click on the tab. An overview of all vehicle types will now appear. Now select the C-Class of Vehicle Model Series 204 by clicking on it. All model designations are now displayed. Eccentry initially automatically highlights all in the listing. In this connection, please note another important area in Eccentry, namely the bottom status line. Here is where further information and the current vehicle context are displayed. In this case, the vehicle model series that was previously selected. Now select, for example, model 204.256. Highlight the model designation, then click on the Continue button in the Eccentry window. Once the model designation has been selected, you can then select the engine and transmission if required. Please note that now the model designation is also displayed in the status line alongside the vehicle model series. Now click on the Continue button in the Eccentry window to accept the information. In both cases, the vehicle identification process ends with an overview of the main vehicle data. From here, you can use the navigation path at the top of the screen to switch to the higher level view, enabling you to make further changes to the vehicle data if required. By the way, when you open one of the applications in the main navigation bar, the information displayed in the status line, in this case the vehicle data plus the VIN, is automatically transferred to the corresponding application. If you wish to start an application, therefore, it's worth taking a look at the status line beforehand to see what information is displayed there. Now have a look at another method of identifying the vehicle. To do this, switch to the model designation view. Click on the corresponding link in the navigation path. Instead of selecting a model designation as before, you can click on the Diagnosis button. Try it out by clicking on the corresponding button in the main navigation bar. When you click on the Diagnosis button, the VIN is automatically read out from the vehicle. 
Once you have acknowledged the safety notices, the diagnosis will begin. The next chapters will show you what you need to bear in mind in this process. You are now familiar with the main functions of Eccentry. What do you need to do if, for example, after carrying out a diagnosis with Eccentry Diagnosis, you want to exit Eccentry? Click on the Exit button in the main navigation bar of the Eccentry window. A menu will now appear with three options. If you select the first option, Close Eccentry, you will exit Eccentry completely. If, after carrying out a diagnosis, you wish to carry out another diagnosis, but this time using DAS rather than Eccentry Diagnostics, the Diagnostics Multiplexer must first be enabled, as it cannot be used simultaneously by two applications. The menu item, Enable Multiplexer, is used for this purpose. Try it out by selecting the appropriate entry and confirming with Yes. In this instance, only Eccentry Diagnostics is exited, not Eccentry itself, and the Diagnostic Multiplexer is enabled. Then, either the Eccentry Start screen with the list of brands for selection, or the product group for the vehicle brand that was pre-selected in the system settings, in this case Mercedes-Benz, is displayed. Take a look now at the third entry in the dialog box listing for exiting Eccentry. This option is used to exit all online applications, such as EPCNet, Wiz, AzraNet, or Eccentry Tips, that were started from Eccentry. Eccentry and Eccentry Diagnostics, however, remain open. Try it out by clicking on Yes to confirm the logout. As you do so, Pay particular attention to the area in the status line that shows the user status. The logout process recognizes that the user who is currently logged in for the online applications is logged out by confirming with a yes button and will then no longer be displayed in the status line. One of the major advantages of Eccentry is that different applications have been integrated into one standard user interface. This makes it easier to use, as for example, common functions, e.g. the print and help functions, can be opened from the same places. Having a common user interface also usually means that the user does not have to log in several times, as the login data is automatically transferred to the application in question. Vehicle identification is also only done once, and is then automatically forwarded to the application in question. It is possible to switch back and forth between the different Eccentry applications at any time, once they are open. Try it out by clicking on the buttons for the different applications. The advantage of switching between applications once they are open is that any work carried out and settings changed are always retained. What are the functions or applications represented by the buttons in the main navigation bar? Match these up with the appropriate descriptions. Excellent! You have matched up all the buttons correctly at the first attempt.